Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Promaster 2500 PK Super. Uh, this will be a quick video. This is very much like the uh, PK2000 2000 PK that I reviewed earlier. It's a Pintex K mount camera made by Cosina. Uh, it's identical to the Vivitar V3800N. Um, it's almost the same as the Nikon FM10. I'm not sure of the production range, but this was available as a new camera up until uh, just a couple of years ago. It has a uh, vertically traveling metal shutter. Uh, it does one second to one two thousandth of a second plus bulb. A really nice thing about this is the battery is just for the meter. It'll do all of those speeds without a battery. The meter is center weighted uh, silicon. It'll do EV5 to EV17. That's with the 50 millimeter f1.7 at ISO 100. The uh, display in the viewfinder is really simple. It's got a plus above, dot in the middle, and a minus below. So just the plus, you're a lot overexposed the plus plus the dot, a little overexposed, and the same in the minus direction. It has a split image uh, focusing aid. The split is diagonal, so that can be a little bit weird. Uh, I guess the idea is that if you don't have a nice vertical, um, you can find something to split against. I'm just used to you know a straight line across. And then it has a micro prism uh, circle around that. And then a matte screen. So focusing is really easy in this guy. It's got a hot shoe, just the one contact, so it's a dumb shoe, as well as a PC Sync socket, which is really uncommon in a camera this new. It'll sync uh, at 1 125th of a second or anything slower. Uh, one thing that's nice if you're using an adapter on an old uh, M42 screw mount or something, it has a depth of field preview. Um, you can defeat the wind at the same time you're still cocking the shutter to do multiple exposures. Uh, it has a 10 second self timer. If you're using the metering, uh, it takes two LR44 one and a half volt batteries or the SR44, the silver oxide version. Um, but it's fully mechanical except for the metering. Uh, kit lenses for this were a nice 50 millimeter f1.7 or this one with 28 to 70 zoom. It's not super super bright. Uh, f3.4 at 70 millimeters uh, and widest uh, f4.8 when it's zoomed to uh, 70. I think I said that right. 3.4 at 28 and 4.8 at 70. Both will stop down to f22. It has a really nice macro setting. Uh, it'll do one fourth of life size. Uh, it'll focus down to 0.35 meters, about 1.1 feet. That's when you're set to uh, 70 millimeters. I've read in some places, but it's all conjecture, that the lenses were made by uh, Tamron, I don't know, Cosina makes really nice lenses. All of the uh, modern Voigtlander lenses are really Cosina. Unless they just had somebody else to do it to to keep the cost down, because the Voigtlanders tend to be M-mount, uh, really high-end lenses. Anyway, this zoom is nine elements in eight groups, has a six-bladed aperture, Sadly, I've got a little ding in the filter uh, threads on this guy, but it's really, really uh, good lens. So, I'm not sure if this is a keeper or not, but it's a really, really fun camera to use. It's simple. You have access to hundreds, if not thousands, of K-mount lenses. It's a good all-around shooter. Having the top speed of uh, 1 2,000th is nice. It's a lot like using the K1000 with a better shutter. I'll see you then.